What's up, everybody? I'm Paul Verzi. And I'm Robert Kelly. And this, this is, is a Bone to Pick podcast. podcast. Um, What's up? How are we doing? First of all, we want to make sure we thank the Patreon people. Patreon.com. Uh, at uh, Bone to Pick Cast, right? No, Patreon.com slash Bone to Pick Cast. We want to thank all our subscribers. It's getting bigger and bigger. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber and you love the podcast, come support us. Be a supporter of the show. Uh, you guys are helping us. You don't understand how much behind the scenes and everything we do. Uh, and also, if you're on YouTube or you're on Apple, you're listening to us, hit the like button, yep. hit the subscribe button. Make sure you do that because that helps out the show. It's right yeah. there. And, and hit the reminder on YouTube, too. All that stuff helps out the show. So we want to thank you guys. And definitely leave your comments and rate. We are at a, what are we, five? Five out of five, four point nine guys, and that's because of you. And we're coming up on fifteen thousand subs. So please tell a friend and hit that button. Bobby fell today. What the f are we gonna get into? Wow. That? No, because you wanted to talk about it or no? Wait, I, I, I no. said, I mean, all right, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I'll yeah. talk about it now. It's bothering you? I can't help I'm it. I'm going to bring something up right now. Do you understand what we're doing with this show? What? What? We talk about all the shit that pisses us off. We are fixing the world one bone at a time. Everybody out there has got a bone to pick. And this is a bone to pick podcast. You got bones. Cheap paper towel dispensers. We got bones. Cops on scooters. I got a bone to pick with you. I have a bone to pick with you. We're gonna go nuts. Here we go. Everybody's got a bone to pick. Dude, I was coming up the, over at uh, where we're at. Yeah. The train is so much in the earth that you have to take a double escalator. Yeah. Like it's an escalator, and then a, then another, and it's like it's almost. You know when you look up at a tall building, you're like oh my god, this yeah. escalator. You ever seen an escalator? Yeah, you're yeah. Like, How did they make this? <laughs> Dude, so but you know, since I'm trying to get into shape, I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna take the stairs. Right. So I, I t but the stairs are just, it's like, it goes forever. Right. It's like six staircases, like chunks. You got to do. And I'm like, I got this. And I got my new boots from London on, and I, and there's a hot chick comes right behind me, smoking hot, one stair length behind, and I'm going up, click, click. You hear my little boots, halfway up, I misjudge. And I fall going up the stairs. How far? Like, what did you fall? Did you fall, fall? Buddy, I fell and I curled up into a ball. Oh. Like, I tried to protect myself. Oh, no. And I had my bag and my bag swung around and got twisted. Wait, so you fell and then almost went into a fetal position, kind of? I had to because I had to protect. Like, I, my body instinctually just kind of rolled into a... And was she a sweetheart dirty... and said, oh, are you okay? No. The escalator's right here coming down as you're going up. Yeah. And an old guy just went, are you all right? Are you hurt? And I was like, I'm fine. Yeah. I was mad. Yeah, and I yeah. looked back and she had her head down laughing. She was, she was laughing? She was laughing. See, that's a, that's a woman you don't marry, you know? I'm not going to marry, but I definitely get a <laughs> job off her. Oh, no, sorry. Keep that. <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> I know, but here's the that thing. Ain't a sweetheart would go like, oh, my God. Like, to put your head down and laugh at somebody Look falling at, in the you, winter in New York City. You see an old guy. you know, Because my, in my brain, I think I'm still 28 when I'm right. walking through New York. I still think I'm John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> right. You know? And I'm not. I'm just an old guy with a bag with a gray goatee. You're not old. Well, you know what I mean? I'm going up the stairs. I mean, she could have been, you know... She could have said something like, oh, my God, are you okay? Can I help? You know, instead of her putting her head down laughing. But if I saw some, if I saw a guy like me fall going upstairs, I'd howl. I'd, would you? I would, dude, I'd say, hey, you all right, dude? But I'd be like, dude, that was a tough one. I'd be laughing. See, I laugh later. I'm a, I'm a later laugher. So I would, I would take, I would look and make sure the person's okay. Then when I'm drifted off, I think about it later and burst out laughing. <laughs> that's when you laugh while you're saying it. You're like, oh, are you okay? Yeah, like, I'm, yeah, that, that's, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. laughing. I'm laughing while I'm, I'm concerned. Oh, <laughs> my knee hurts too, which sucks. Oh, oh. Sucked. And anyway. the old guy going, are you okay? Doesn't uh, help anything. Because then it's... Because he was going down. I was like, are you okay? And he's just fading. The... What are you going to do if I wasn't? I You're know. on an escalator, yeah. Yeah, and so... he's old. He's not picking you up. Yeah, What's you, he going to yeah, do? Yeah, you were just looking at... You're just doing that because that's what your community is taught to do. Yep. You got to say, are you all right if some, one of us falls? It's oh. terrible. But anyways, and then I saw you. Yeah, that was very nice of you. You picked up my... I was having a... You having a bad day? Not just, you know, you ever wake up and you just, it was the first, and you know me. I'm yeah. usually easy, right? Yeah, you're easy. I woke up today and I was just like, what? 
I woke up today and I was just like, we have a show called Bone to Pick. Yeah. It's about things that piss you off. And it comes from the origin story is that every time we did a show. Oh, we talk. Yes. We talk. You or me would have a bone to pick. Yeah. Yeah. We're not easygoing guys. We are. But we we I think the reason why we are easygoing is because we have a show like this, because me and you let it out. And you, nobody like you, there's nobody like you when it comes to letting people know now, <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't like waiting. You're, you're a, you, me, and and my daughter's like that. But my wife and son, yeah. they they go. My wife, my, my, my Lucas and Stacy go to the room yeah. and they let it. They they take it in. And I go, whoa, no, take the keys out, everything out of the pockets. Let's do it now. And they go, let me process this. But we'll take the keys out. Yeah, like un unpack. Oh, all right. Like, let everything out. I, I, like, I got to empty the pockets. Okay. Now. okay. All right, I get everything it, I get on the it. table. Uh, <laughs> uh, my daughter goes, now. My daughter goes, you hurt my feelings now. Don't talk to my me now. My son does it, too. Yeah. You. Yeah. You call, then call again. Yep. Then say, no, we got to talk. Yep. Then get on the phone now. I need to talk to you now. Yep. And then you get it out. But then once you get it out, yep. you're good. Done. Why, why carry around resentment? That's true. Why carry around justify resentment? Even if it's justified, is still poison. You got to get it out. Keeping it in your heart and inside is not healthy. No. And that's why we do bone to pick. And I know that's why we have, that's why Mike has to sift through thousands of emails because people have it. I think easygoing people let it out. I think the quiet ones, yeah. they're going to explode. Yeah. You know, they're going to explode. And, and that's why, but I woke up today and I was just like, every little thing. Yeah. You know, and then, you know, my wife didn't help, you know. My wife didn't help because she was. Uh, that's one of my bones, so I'm going to get into the bone. But uh, you want to? Do you want to do your bone first, or do you want me to do my bone? I. I it's up to you because you're in a mood. So is it better if I'm in a mood? To I'm going to call Bob, uh, Audible here, it's Paul. You're should, ready. You're seething for a bone. Yeah, I'm having a day. Ooh. A thousand percent. That just really hurt. This thing is a thousand pounds. <laughs> yeah, get, it's breaking we, the TV. I mean, this thing, if I, if I miss that, the, the, that thing is ruined. We got to get, the, we gotta get the, the lighter. We got to get the humorous bone back. That was a little lighter. That thing is. I mean, did you hear that? that hurt. <laughs> I never want to go first. That road's going on. That, that bone's coming on the road with us, though. For sure. Oh, yeah. In case we have to fucking. I'm going to make a microphone out of that. So we can, that could be the, yeah. the crowd right. mic. Since I'm in a mood, uh, I'm just going to get right into this. Bone one. My bone is this today. My bone is when somebody reminds you of something you already know. I know. I know. Don't forget you gotta don't forget you gotta be to the thing. Did you set the alarm? Yeah, I did. Hey, you don't be late. You have to I know. I know what I have to do. I know what I have to do because I'm a capable adult who's not I almost said something bad, but I didn't, Mike. I didn't. Okay, I. You want candy? I know. Okay. Okay. I know. I have to. Guess what? I set the alarm because I have an iPhone, so I go, "Hey, set the alarm, 9:30 a.m." Boom. Then all of a sudden, don't forget you have that thing. Don't be late. Don't. I'm just telling you, it could be true. I know. Okay. Don't remind me of things that I know about. I'm a capable adult. Okay. Even though you people may not think so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Certain what? Why'd you, why'd you, what, why'd you, what was that? <laughs> no. Verzi, Verzi, I'm going to say something right now. Yeah. Bubba, you're getting sidetracked. Why? Because you're like a gorilla that is just attacking things around them. Okay. I'm, I'm going to just I'm focus sorry. in. I'm sorry. I was laughing at the bone. Oh, I thought you I'm were laughing. Nope. I thought you were laughing at me being I, capable. I'm laughing at. <laughs> I thought you you just. It was a bad timing laugh. It was a bad but... timing laugh. I said Nobody. I'm a capable adult. And I, I heard, heard that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> That's what I heard. This is what I heard. And I think Mike heard it too. I heard, I'm a capable adult. And then my partner next to me goes, ha, ha, ha. that's what I heard. Oh. So, so it might, what I heard was, no, you're not. You're not capable. You're stupid. That's not that. Paul, you got to focus, dude. Okay. All right. You got to get back. Okay. I'm get back. You got to get, hold okay. on to her. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm losing a steering wheel. Okay. I, I just, I, I, I have a thing. Listen, it happened when I was what? younger too. Well, I want to know what happened. Well, it happened when I was younger with my stepfather. He would go, don't be late for school. You got The bus is going to be down there. And he would say, the bus is going to be down there. You got to be out of the house by uh, a little before seven because you got to walk to, and I know. And then he would say things like, you know, you're never going to graduate. If you, if you, you got to get up. If you don't get up, you're going to miss the bus. My wife, 
you know, I, we have some things. I have some things to do today. We got to go to the car dealership. I had to come here and I had to set the alarm for some things. And it was, hey, don't you know you have that thing to do? Yeah, I know. I know I'm capable. So the, ne- the night before I, I have the alarm. You know what I do? What? I have uh, please set the alarm for this and then I'll do a backup alarm. Also, a half hour late, you know? Do you talk to the, you talk to your phone like you're the robot? <laughs> Not today. You, you, I know, I'm sorry. I'm just, no, saying, no. I'm just saying that you can talk in your regular voice. You don't have to go, <laughs> set the phone, 4, 6, 30. You're right. You don't have to talk like Siri. You're right. Actually, Siri doesn't talk like that anymore. <laughs> you can just tell, you go, hey, set the alarm for, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm just so, talking, because I didn't so, know if you knew that. So listen, it's it's just it's not just my stepfather and my wife. It's people in general who go, make sure you do that. You know you have to do that. And they tell you three or four times. Who did it today? Stacy. <laughs> okay. I love my wife. I love my wife very much. I okay. love I love a I love a good preamble. No, Listen, no. I love her. I love Here's my wife. Listen, thing. and my wife and I'll be honest, my wife being prepared and being organized and being a better planner has helped me in my life and has helped my family and she's great. But I know. I know. And she was like, "Hey, do you know did you call Lexus? We got to call Lexus." I go, "Yeah, no, I go, yeah, cuz the lease is up." She go, "Yeah, no, I know." Okay, you're going to get there though, right? Do you know I, I go, "Yeah, no, I got to go to do bone to pick too." Okay, but you're going to go to Le- I, I, I need people to give me the credit now. I need people I need people to understand that I've gotten to this point in my life in my 40s yeah. where I, I've gotten here. Can you, you believe know. it? You know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Right? You know. What, what would you do if I said, Bobby, we're doing uh, noon with Mike tomorrow, bone I, to pick. And then all of a sudden. All I, so I go, uh, is it noon? What? I'd be like, <laughs> I thought it was 1230. Because <laughs> I don't know. A lot of yeah. times I don't know. Oh, you're one of those? Don't call me one of those. No, but you don't know. It was a joke. I oh. was just going into the joke. I know. Well- <laughs> you fucking... You get, don't you get... You know? I know. Yeah? Are you good with plan? Are you good with schedules? I know some things. Oh, you're not a good schedule don't? guy. No, are you? Does Dawn have to remind you? Oh, boy, you're terrible at it, aren't you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, because I have a lot of things. We, yes. Uh, I got a lot of stuff. Listen. And I, I, yeah. Anyway, I'll just leave my bone with this. When I tell you the night before that I have it, like I'm the one saying. Can I say something? Yeah. 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 Can I play devil's advocate just? For- yes. Yes. Go ahead. Play devil's advocate. Can you pass, put the bone over in the middle of the table though? <laughs> just on this side. Yeah. Yeah. Brother, listen. Yeah. Have you ever not known and missed something? Hang on. Yeah. And and missed something or fucked something up because you didn't know? And she was like, and maybe the reason why she's over you knowing because you didn't know a couple times? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So maybe. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. What? I'm wrong. I'm going to reverse the bone. You're right. I just had a moment. I just had an epiphany on the show. Because you're one of those. I am, and she should remind me because I'll sleep in. I missed physical therapy today because I didn't know that I was coming here. So I, I got to pay a $50 cancellation fee on physical therapy because I told him yes for one thirty uh, last week, and then I said yes to noon here. She's right. I'm in a bad mood. I'm sorry. What? what, can what? Did we just do a reversal bone? Uh, we did. Did we just find out that the bone of is him. actually about? Because of him. Well, no. Is it the bone? Because of him. No, listen. It, it was a fine bone until he said, can I, can he got calm? But is it a bone that you realize it's actually a bone I against you? No, no. I didn't mean, listen. I didn't mean to. I, I'm just saying. This is a moment on the show. It is a moment on the show. Because you know what? Sometimes you're going to have a bone. But sometimes the bone is me. might be. Your bone. It, it, in you. You might be the bone. This is an inner bone, dude. This is an inner bone. Yeah. This is an I, intimacy I think, bone. I think we just had a moment on the show. It didn't. We didn't have to. <laughs> Siegfried, fuck, whatever. What was Sigmund Force's fucking name? Siegfried and Roy. Yeah. Yeah. Don't help him. <laughs> it's not it. Help That's not it. That's not it. Siegfried and Freud. <laughs> Those are the magicians. <laughs> Those are magicians. <laughs> was, that a, was that a cartoon in the Sunday paper? Siegfried and Freud? It was Bobby's a, the tiger that killed well, yeah. Siegfried. <laughs> what the, Bo- Bobby just... <laughs> But, but here's how he got me. Siegfried and Freud. It was a Freudian. Siegfried and Freud. Siegfried and Freud. I mean, if that's not the name of this, if that's not the name of this fucking episode, uh, so he, he, here's the deal. Okay. What? I know what you just did, and you're a good friend. And and here's the thing. But you got quiet and common. Here's why, here's how you baited me. 
Yep. You go, hey, can I just say something without you? Put the bone over here. Do you think maybe she did catch you on some things sometimes that you did forget and do that? And you made me actually put my head down yeah. and think about it. And I, then I thought that I missed physical therapy today because yeah. I'm, I'm bad with scheduling. Yep. And even though I have the alarm, I'm 100% wrong. Yeah. My wife is 100% right. Right. And this bone is now reversed on me. Yep. This might be, is this a first on the show? I just want a round of applause. Yeah. Good job, you know, buddy. Hey, be, listen. Can I be honest with you? You sold your own bone, that's one a, bone with one bone. Can I be honest with you guys? And I'm not even joking what I'm about to say. Yeah. Not that I would get like emotional, emotional, but there was, I had a moment there where I just go, wow, this is on me and I need to get my shit together. And I kind of felt something. Yeah. That's what this show does. Yeah. So, so I'm glad that. So maybe I'm angry at me this morning. Ooh. Yeah. And I probably saved a life today. <laughs> Saved a marriage for sure. I saved. You I know what? Yeah. Even though I didn't love how I saved, I saved dinner. The energy at dinner tonight. <laughs> Don't no lasagna. You're gonna be stuck yeah. to the wall tonight. Yeah, you want somebody's tip? Yeah. Because I, you know, usually I tip. Today I would have been nah, ten percent. <laughs> all right, there you go. All right, so that's my bone. Uh, wow, go. we had a. That was a first. That was a good bone. But you didn't have to do how I you did it, calm and. I. But I know how to talk to you, Paul. I you did see that you. I was like I was like a I was like a bull in a china shop at the beginning. Well, dude, you were mad coming down here, but here's what happened. And I've done this too. And guys, listen, we're meatheads, right? Yeah. And what happens is, is they they say something like that. It fucks with your self esteem because you did you did not know, and they're on you. You know, and you're like, I fucking, and you're mad at yourself because you missed it. Yeah. Now and then you hit traffic. Then you came to. Then ways fucked you. Then you were late. You were hungry. Boom, 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 boom. And now you're like, this bitch, I know. And when you, uh, yeah. I just went like this with a little, pss, yeah. And it all but can I up. say something yeah. real quick? I'm a man. I know. You want to know why I'm a man? Said you're not no, a you want to know why I'm a man? Why? Because I admitted it and I said it. I say thank you and, and I'm sorry. I say I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll call your wife and apologize. <laughs> no, I mean, she doesn't know. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> yeah, I'm not starting to fight. I didn't get into yet. <laughs> I love you angrily admitting you're apologizing. It's the reason I'm a man because I fucking apologized. <laughs> I say sorry. And uh, I go sick. Sorry. No, I'm fucking doing that. <laughs> she has no idea. I thought she was an ass. That's why I'm also a man. <laughs> there we go, man. I reversed right. my own bone. All right, it's on you now, Bobby. Okay. Bone two. Here's my bone. And this really got to me. And th this is a weird, I don't know, it's like a little weird bone. I'm sick. And the, I'm sick of all you can eat buffets, especially breakfast, where they have like a whole thing of bacon, a whole thing of sausages. Mm. And you get all these people coming up and they're just blah, blah, blah. And then, at some point, there's like a, hung, there's a lot of bacon left, and, and lunch, and they'll just take it and and they're they're tossing it. They make. It's like all this this some animal had to die, so a bunch of fatsos can have all they can eat bacon, yeah, and all they can eat sausage links. At some fucking Holiday Inn or Hyatt, you know, I'm. Look at as many pancakes as you want. You can have all your croissants and bang, all that shit. But when it comes to an animal, yeah, I think it should be Brazilian steakhouse. Some guy, you want sausage, right? The guy yeah. comes over. How, yeah, here's a little bit. There you go. Here's a little. You you get a yeah, little I know, bit. But you're at a, you're you, at a continental. I, look, I mean, you're I, looked, at a... I looked over at this fat lady's plate and all these other people, and there was chunks. They just had bacon, and they didn't eat it, and they just threw it out. At least somebody should be regulating. You don't get to walk up and grab a tong, tongs yeah. for bacon. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking tongs. <laughs> you don't get tong full of bacon, put it on your plate for your fat family, and then nobody eats the bacon. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what's and the then you talk. You just, then some poor lady from a third world country who's making no money has to walk over and take the plate and oh, be yeah. like, 
throw it like Do I you could think take... they throw it out though. Uh, oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, but they may take it home. No, they throw out if it's on your plate. But the leftovers, if it's a if it's a continental I'm... Holiday Inn, they're, it's either being used tomorrow yeah. or they're taking it home. I mean, listen, dude. I'm saying every buffet, even at the Delta Lounge, is just piles of bacon and i'm thinking of the, we're just murdering animals it's just excess yeah it's like you know you go to a brazilian steakhouse it's annoying but the guy comes over the guy comes over you want uh filet with uh what you want filet and you go yeah and you get a little tongue you get a little baby tongue it's a little fucking tongue. holiday and then express. they cut a little pace and you, you take it and you put it on your plate it's a holiday express you think they're gonna have a thing on a spit how about with the this? chef okay here's the deal you want bacon? You want bacon? You get an order of bacon. You don't get, you don't just flop out a half a pig and let these savages just grab fistfuls of it <laughs> and then throw it out. Well, you're. I not don't like that these poor animals are dying. For no, look it. If you take it, you got to eat it. How's that? Sushi buffets, <laughs> they'll charge you extra if you leave extra on your plate. Bam. Yeah. That's uh, that's a that's a fucking life. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm not getting all PC. I don't give a fuck. I know this uh, is a, a little bit of a. Uh, is this the first woke? This is a woke bone. It's a woke bone. <laughs> it's not a woke bone. Those animals have a life. Ah, or, I know. It sounds you, like a Joaquin woke bone. Phoenix at the Oscars. <laughs> it's okay to be woke about some stuff. <laughs> it's not. <I'm, laughs> this this is actually you're wrong. If you know hunters, hunters, right? Yeah. yeah. Hunters which aren't woke. Right. <clears throat> they don't waste anything. They go out and they kill it. And they eat every part of the animal gets used, right? And they they respect it. We're just fucking slaughtering things so that the average dickhead that's going to a water park can fucking just <laughs> grab a fistful of bacon, <laughs> stick it on the plate, and eat yeah. a couple, and then toss out the rest. I'm just saying, when it comes to meat at a buffet, it should be regulated. Can I say something? Go ahead. You're skinny now. I'm wondering. Skinnier. Skinnier. It, would Whoa. would the po you just would the agree pre with me? What? 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 You just agreed with me. Uh, you said something. I said you said you're skinny now. I went skinnier, and you went skinnier. You're not supposed to I was agree. Just agree. I was you're just, supposed to not do but that. I, that was an autopilot agree. Yeah, but that what you're that supposed to not. Like no, you're, you're, this is the way it goes. Good. No. You're skinnier now. What? You're skinny now. I'm, I'm being you. skinnier. No, nah, man, you fucking look great. Okay, okay. That's what you're supposed okay. to say. Okay, I was on autopilot. You're right. Oh, I'm okay. hot. Did you it look just good. Get hot in here? You look good. I'm hot. You look good. You made me hot. No, you look good. You made me hot. <laughs> Go ahead. But would pre-surgery Bobby have said this, Bone? You're making a valid point, but pre-surgery Bobby, yes. I Even when I was a fat fuck, when I went to a buffet, I would only take what I was definitely going to eat. I, I don't like... I never took meat yeah. like bacon or sausage... And even with my family, I don't let my son do it. T you don't just take a pile of meat. Take a sausage. You want another one? Go get another one. You want 15 sausages? Go up. Yeah. Take a couple. Yeah. If you eat it. Even when I was a fat bastard. That's why I love Brazilian steakhouses. Because you, you take it. They give, they give you a little piece. Yeah, try this. Yeah, yeah. Try this. We're not going to come over and just load your plate up like a fat fuck. Well, here's like, the thing. Like a 20-ounce ribeye. Well, also, listen. You are you also have to understand you are at a Holiday Inn or you are at one of those places. Well, any, so the meat's any, not any good. That, yeah, but that, like here's here's the thing. What, what's the, what would you say the right amount of bacon is for a serving of breakfast? Would you say? Four slices. I would say six is the absolute limit. I would say four. What if, if they're skinny? Okay, it depends. If you're talking uh, cheap uh, holiday and bacon, I would say six. You're talking high-end hotel, which is what I usually stay at, four. You're talking the, the thick cut, four. So you don't need prongs? Or you don't need tongs. Tongs or prongs? Tongs. Oh, a prong is when you... When you okay. Stop saying prong. It's what? a tong. <laughs> tong. You don't need a tong. No. To scoop out... I'm, I'm, at, the, I'm at the Delta Lounge, you know, because I'm... You know, you know. Delta Lounge. Yeah, what's up, what's up, I'm dude? at the Delta Platinum, Lounge. Platinum, baby. Platinum like, Elite. Yeah. yeah. Listen. <laughs> so I'm at the Delta Lounge. I look over. This guy just grabs a tongue full of bacon, puts it on his plate. And then I saw um, uh, sausages. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, okay, dude, I'm a, I'm a retired fat fuck. I get it. But then I looked and he didn't eat it. He ate like two pieces of bacon. He ate the sausages, left the sausage. It's like, dude, come on. Do that with fruit. Do that with an omelet. 
Right. Oh, do that with a fucking bagel. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that with an animal's life. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're just if you look, look next time you look at a breakfast buffet, look at that pile of bacon and think, oh shit, that was a couple uh, like a month ago. That was fucking Sally the pig. I I think. Are you? Do you care more about? Because I I would care more about the people than the animal. So you know what they should do with that is they should let the homeless people. They should let the homeless people like at the end give it to them. There's a guy on TikTok. He works at a hotel and he's homeless. Yeah. And he saves all the food and takes it back to him, his you wife, who people are around him. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool to see because he's like, yeah. How is he homeless if he works at a hotel? Well, you can be homeless and not have and still have a job. How? I mean, how do you? But a hotel is a good job. Yeah, can't they put well, it? He's, him a he's room? like a he's like a janitor. He's like well, can he sneak yeah, a room? Well, no. I was gonna say when they give the guy a room with his family. Yeah, dude, I know a guy who lives in a storage unit with his wife. Dude, what kind of horrible <laughs> boss has has their employee clock yeah. out and go outside? Yeah, what kind of douchebag does that? <laughs> hey, dude, it's cold out there. Dude, here's some bacon. See, they yeah, might yeah. have something fixed for him now, but when he started doing these videos, he was. Oh, you gotta send sure. me that. Look at it, man. I'm all for that. The animal's already dead. I'm not saying don't kill the animal and don't cook it and put it on a fucking plate. Yeah. I'm fine with killing it. Kill it. Eat it. But if you're, a, don't grab a, fi <laughs> you don't let people just grab a tong, a fistful of bacon, and they're not going to eat it. Good you know what I'm saying? Good. Bacon's good. Dude. Buddy, if you're going to eat it, <laughs> yeah. you don't grab bacon unless you're going to eat it. Yeah. You don't grab, you don't grab the meat. I'm at, okay, I'll put it this way, okay? We're at your house. Mm -hmm. You got fillets. Wagyu. Wagyu. Yeah. Okay? Yep. Wagyu. Wagyu. What is it? Wagyu. 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 Okay. What are you doing? The wagyu. Wagyu. Stop saying it. You said it. I said it once, <laughs> and then you said... Okay. 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 You made it sound like, Paul, that he said it wagyu. Thank you. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. No, he went wagyu. Now, I ba said wagyu. Bagels, bagels, he's still saying it. Oh, I mean, bagels. bagels. No, no, he's not allowed to talk. He's not allowed to say bagels on the show. I can't hear you say bagel on the show anymore. So when when it comes to bagels, I'll, I'll talk to Mike about the order. I can't hear you go bagel. I can't, I can't hear you. Okay, all right. So, what I'm saying. Filet okay, with wagyu. Is, you got you spent all this money. Yep. Wagyu, filets. Yep. A lot of money. You put them on the table, right? Yep. And I walk over and I grab three filets. I put them on my thing. Oof. I eat one. And then and I throw. took I took a like a bite out of the second one. Oh, you well, you're never coming back. All right, why? Because yeah. it means something. The, the it's meat, just a waste. The meat, it's a waste. I just think with a, a life, all the other shit really. I actually understand. I say fucking egg too. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> fucking egg. Uh, you know, chicken's choice. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a chicken's choice. <laughs> I love how, I love how we're supposed to. I love how we're supposed to curse less on this one. Sorry. <laughs> well, we're past the time mark now. Okay. What I'm saying is, you know, yeah, yeah I'm saying, yeah. So I, I don't care about an egg, but I'm just saying, man, I don't like people who waste meat. I don't mind wasting cereal. I don't mind wasting breads. I don't mind. I don't like that either. But I don't mind that shit. Yeah. When you're wasting meat a lot, it's like you. Yeah. It's you like have you're no disgusting. Res you have no respect yeah. for how I that got on your table. I like that bone. That's a thank good you bone. very much. That's Appreciate a good bone. No, that was that's a good bone, and and I do, I do get that because to have something be slaughtered and then just throw it in a garbage can and have somebody Dude, wrap it up and throw it in a dumpster that is kind that of that little shitty. thing came out and, and, and mama what? Oh, we, 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 it went over what? and then the mother took all the other brother hey brother hey sister hey mom and then they went wait 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 now what he's was on a fucking wait, holiday plate no no I got to back up for a second twats going hey, uh, hey. mom I don't like <laughs> Bacon. Well, we got it. Hey, brother. Hey, sister. Yeah, they got little baby pigs. You think they have one pig at a time? They have a look, a little whole litter God, of pigs. You're making me sad. Fuck a pig. Kill them all. No, nah, they're, they're they're. Dude, I like a pig. Just don't uh, waste them. Dude, just don't amazing. waste it. Bacon's amazing. Don't waste it. Yeah. And like, I love that. Uh, the hotel should be taking that bacon and and giving it to people. So you I know love why that. the guy has to steal it? They don't because they won't him. let him take it. So he's got to like sneak it through it. He takes it in trash bags. Puts it in, ties it up, puts it in the regular trash, and when he takes good. up the trash, he hides it. Good. Crazy. Well, they don't want to get sued. That's a good bone because that's a, that's a uh, that's a bone about like mm. a, a couple of things: animals, yep. wasting people, starving. It's it's a good bone. It's not a woke bone. It it teeters. It's but it's, a, it's but listen, sometimes not woke, I should say, but no, sometimes listen, man. I I that's I, a respect bone. It's a it's good. Uh, it's a life bone. It's a good bone. Thank you. I wouldn't call it woke. I don't think so. I don't think so. No. Nah. Not woke, because I ain't woke. Don't call me woke. <laughs>
Don't call me woke. What times of protest you got to be to? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into this. This is the part of the show. <laughs> Where's your I just voted sticker? <laughs> I'm voting. You voting? Yeah, of this course show? I'm voting. Yeah, vote. I know who you're voting for. What? Yeah, what are you <laughs> talking about? <laughs> All right. <laughs> we don't I know who you're voting for. Uh, you don't know who I'm voting for. No, you don't know who I'm voting for either. Yeah, La- yeah. Last time I voted for Eli Manning. That's true. <laughs> uh, All right, let's get into this. Let's go. Fan Fan balls. This is the part of the show where you, the fans, send them in. So send them in the Gmail. Uh, uh, what is it? Bone to pick cast at, at gmail.com. Gmail. You send your fan, but we love the video bones. So the video bones, right to the top. If you send a video bone in, you're getting played. That's just the way it is. We love the video bones. We love the fan bones. And we're backed up, just so you know. I had a couple people emailing. Well, with video- videos? We just got a lot of videos, so I can- we can't play 15 videos oh, we a week. Do, maybe, so we're can doing we do like best. three videos? Oh, we'll see. We can see it. We can see we what we got. We have 15, more than 15 videos? Oh, getting... we are way more than that. Yeah, we got a lot of videos, dude. Vi- uh, I'm saying the... we can't do like all of them. They're no. going to show up eventually. We're going to show you. Have... We are doing all these bones. If and it I... takes us the rest of our lives, if one of us dies, Whoa. the other two are going to keep going. And here's an example of that. <laughs> Just coincidentally, our first fan bone today comes was emailed in May of 2023. Wow. wow. So... Like we're getting there, okay. I promise you. And wow. some some are earlier, some are stuff that just came in. So you know, it's just you know. But anyway, so just if you if you're wondering, they're coming. Okay. All right. So cool. Michael has a bone to pick with grown adults who wear Crocs. <laughs> Look, man, I have never wore a pair of Crocs in my life. I have friends that do. I have people that swear by. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's looking around. <laughs> Bobby's looking around. Uh, look, uh, but yeah, big. So just Mike, Mike, I'm the only one on the show who's kind of with you. Um, Bobby's look, not even looking. He has no idea. That? I'm gonna say yeah, this. I'm gonna say this. We, we, <laughs> unless you're a chef, <laughs> listen. Mike, unless you're a chef Mike, or a nurse, that's I agree with him. <laughs> I listen, didn't bring that in there for a prop. <laughs> listen, listen. Unless you are a chef. Oh my God! Look at the size of that thing. Um, those are my camp Crocs. <laughs> yeah, listen. I use those up at the lake. Yeah. It's just. You know me, Mike. I'm the only one on the show who's going to be with you on this. I'm a sneakerhead. I'm a guy who what's on my feet matters to me. Um, look at that thing, dude. Listen, I understand it's comfortable. Uh, if you have a black pair and you work in a kitchen, I'll give it to you. If you have a white pair and you're a nurse, I'll give it to you. I, you rocking those on an everyday walking outside, I I I gotta agree with them. I don't love them. Anyone open toe, at least in a city, is nuts. Those are uh, those are those are for the gym or for the gym. Yeah, well, these tough. Some I haven't oh, yet. Well, but you I shower. shower. Yeah, yeah. But uh, and th- oh. at the at the lake. I well, so, at the lake. So listen, that if you're walking from somewhere to a steam room, okay, if they're yeah, handed go, out to you, if you're going to get sucked <laughs> off by three gentlemen in a steam room. <laughs> You don't want to get calm on your foot. <laughs> but I also have the privilege of wearing. I can wear those anywhere. And what are you? What are you going to say to me? I'm, yeah, well, I'm bigger than everybody. Well, yeah, so it's like, oh, you're going to make yeah. fun of me, dude? Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, if you see this footprint in the ground, you're going to look for Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to scream. There's a yeti in the it's fucking air. Yeah, I encourage somebody to make fun <laughs> of me, <laughs> dude. That literally <laughs> covers your whole. I yeah. mean, Mike is a yeah, six gotta, foot five. We're going to keep this thing around just in case Mike loses his fucking shit one day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bone transplant. I'm gonna tell you this, man. I'm gonna tell you this. You're a croc. I've seen you in Crocs. I, but here's the deal. I do not wear Crocs in the city. I'll never wear Crocs at night. You'll never wear them out to eat. I ne- I never, never. Okay. Never ever. Even when I'm in Aruba, I very I wear I wear Crocs to the pool. I give you. I that. wear Crocs to the beach. I give you that. But I don't even I don't even wear Crocs. I have like an upgraded. I got um. Oh, what the fuck? I got like a fancy thing. You know what I mean? But I do own a pair of Crocs. Okay. Max wears Crocs in the summer. Yep. But I wear them when I go camping. Well, he said grown He said grown adults. Did he say Listen, kids? I give, a kid, I give a kid a kid. Of course. A kid gets a pa- A but, kid gets a pass. But when you go camping, okay, you, you're hiking up. You got your hiking boots on. The first thing you want to do, and every hiker knows this, you want to put your camp shoe on. Okay, you want to take your boots off, let them air out, and put on your Crocs or your sandals or something. Everybody has that. And the reason why I have Crocs when I go camping is because it covers the whole foot. And I don't yeah, like but what about the between... holes there? Yeah, but well, flip flop, I don't like that shit between my toe. No, no, no. And it doesn't cover your whole foot. So if a fire, you know, a little spark comes off, at least it will mainly cover it. You know what I mean? But for the holes, you get these little things that you can put on, a little flare. That's <laughs> no, another okay. thing Michael hates. The flare. <laughs> you're expressing yourself with the pins, go fuck yourself. That's a quote. All right, listen, <laughs> I'm going to tell you too. 
I, Mike, you don't like me, dude. I got. <laughs> but here's the thing: American flag flare. I got American flag pin. So go fuck myself, Mike. Look at me. <laughs> huh? So you hate America? I'm gonna represent America on my foot. But Crocs are definitely. Uh, Crocs are definitely ghetto. <laughs> they have their they have their place. They yeah. have their place, but definitely not. You don't wear them. Listen, you don't wear them out. You don't wear them at night going to a restaurant. If you're if you're wearing Crocs to like a baseball game, that's or, what I think that that's what Mike is saying. Like, if you wore them, I, I'll be honest with you. Every I'll, day Croc, dude. If my wife got me a pair of Crocs and she said on vacation, this is for the pool and going to the beach. That's one thing. But I'm saying if you rock in, if you're going around a mall. Yeah. If you're walking around a mall as a 30-something-year-old man yeah. and you have Crocs on as a party outfit, I'm with you, Mike. I'm with I, you. I wound up getting, because I felt a little ghetto in my Crocs, I got a uh, Hoka. You know Hoka? Oh, yeah, the expensive yeah, yeah. shoe? Yeah. I got Hoka Crocs. I got Hoka hiking shoes, Hoka cro like camp shoes, yeah. and Hoka um, sneakers. They, make, uh, they made a limited edition Croc cowboy boot. <laughs> Which is, I mean, I mean that's the dumbest that's, thing I've ever seen. But I would probably I, buy a pair for the hell of it. <laughs> I get it. I wear that at the camp. <laughs> exactly. I think children and old people doesn't matter. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But he's right. As a man, if I see a man at a restaurant Oof. with Crocs on, can you throw his shoe back, please? Oh, you don't like that? No. Okay, I'll put it right over here. Put it down. I'll put it right over here. All right, Mike. What else do we got? Good, good bone, Mike. So we got our buddy John. <laughs> Uh, has a bone to pick when your boss buys you free lunch and tells you you're appreciated, but never gives you a, for a fucking raise. And he has a good a good oh. side to this is that he'll say something like, "Hey, for lunch I got you tomorrow. Good job, kid. It's on me." Loudly in front of everybody, so he seems like a good guy, no. but he never actually is a good guy. No, he does. He's not a good guy. He's using a cheap meal. He's using a cheap meal as a way to not give this kid a raise. It's really shitty. And to say it loud like he's proud, you know, dude, I got, this. listen, tomorrow we're going to dinner on the block. Guess what? I'm me, dude. You're, you're crushing it. That's a piece of shit. First of all, lunch or dinner Oof. I'm, is not a fucking bump. Mm -mm. A Rolex. A hooker. Well, no, well, that means. A car. That's, hey, dude, tomorrow night, hand jobs on me. That's a fucking bump. That's you know what I mean. <laughs> you oh you get what do you get me fucking fettuccine Alfredo? Go fuck your mother. Can I swear now? Go fuck your mother. <laughs> Lunch uh... dinner is listen to me. That's not a fun. That's not even a thing anymore. That was a thing in the twenties. Yeah, yeah. Take us to Nobu for fifteen thousand. Yeah, the whole th company. Okay. That's <laughs> yeah. If you're that's if even you're... worse. Why not? You're gonna spend that much money on, give on the, dinner? Give, give me the, the money. money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't, give me I don't the want 15. sashimi. Right. But I mean, this guy's going lunch tomorrow on me. We're going to the pizza place. Yeah. I mean, yeah. What are we going to do? We're going to get ramen? Go for oh, it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Screw yourself. Get a yeah. sandwich? Yeah. What a douche. Two bag. slices and a can of Coke for no. seven bucks? A, a bump is money or hand jobs. Here's what you do. Right? Here's, here's what you do. Like, if do I said you as a boss, dude, tomorrow I'm taking to the massage parlor on me. Whatever you want to do around the world. All right, so we're going to do this real quick. This guy's great. Uh, real quick. Yeah. You're the boss. I would stop. You say it to me. You I say, got you. I got you. Say, you. Okay, ready? I'm sitting there. I'm doing work. I'm hey, doing... hey, listen. Paulo. Yo. Tomorrow you're doing a great job. Nice. Lunch on me, kid. I got it. I got it, everybody. Can I, actually, can I talk to you in the office real quick? Yeah. Come for a second? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I was wondering, like, yeah. I've been here a while. Yep. You know, and uh, it's going on like 24 sure. months, two years, and you yeah. keep telling me I'm doing such a good job. You're doing a great job. I was just wondering, like, instead of the lunches, yeah. is there any, like, possibility that I could get, like, a bump in the salary at any point? Sure. Hang on one second. Do me a favor. Yeah, yeah. Give me a sec. Yeah, listen. <laughs> Tell Jerry I'm going to take him to lunch tomorrow. <laughs> you go fuck yourself. How's that? It's my money. Fuck off. <laughs> Jerry, tomorrow. Lunch on me. You're doing a great job. Beat it. Wait, can face. I still go to lunch? Get your shit out of here. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what time it is. Video bone, video bone, video bone. He looks like uh, he went down on the blast. No. Bone. <laughs> he looks like Jeff Die. <laughs> what does he look like? Right, the Jeff Die a little a bit. A little bit, yeah. This is our pal Ian as a bone. Here we go. I know. So, guys, my bone to pick is <laughs> with people who won't stop asking questions when a meeting's supposed to be over. I work a job oh. nine to five. Not super in love with it, but it pays the bills. Uh, but right now it's 429. This meeting was supposed to end at 415, but one person just wanted to keep asking questions that nobody else cared about. And you're wasting 
15 other people's times just because you want to ask a question or multiple questions that you could have just asked the person on your own time privately. Like respect other people's times and don't ask questions that are fucking unnecessary. Dude, I'm gonna give him a round of applause. Can I tell that. you why this is great? It's it's beyond great. It's perfect. I want to say say something. It's perfect. Why this is great? This just happened. He I came to us, yeah, yeah, yeah. and a moment of need. He pick, all you gotta do pick up your phone and give it give it to us. Yes, he gave it to right happened. I gotta do, and he gave it to us. Love it. Dude, I was in the car with my wife. My wife goes, I just got to finish this work call. Do you mind sitting in the car with me? And I had no problem. And everybody on the work call goes, all right, that was great. Half hour, nice call. All right, that was great. And the one woman just goes, and I'm in the car. I'm at Walgreens. I want to go. Yeah. And and Stacey's in the driver's seat. I'm in the passenger seat. And I go, oh, that wasn't bad. Guys, I hate to be the, but can I just, I know, I know. Can we, I was just wondering, um, back on what so-and-so said, do you think? And then I'm like, okay, she's got one. And then she kept going and she goes, all right, I'm sorry. Go to the guy's office by yourself. Everybody had a good meeting and it's done. That's a great bone. And you know what? That person, let's let's dissect this bone real quick. Let's dissect this video yeah. bone. Do you think that person's trying to be, trying to get a little recognition? Get, get a lunch? They're trying to get a, trying lunch. To get a lunch. They're <laughs> trying to be, oh, wow, they do follow-up questions. They really care. They really care. That's an insecure employee who's trying to get recognition. That's what that is. That's a great bone, buddy. Great bone. Great bone. Yeah, but here's the thing. Now we gotta have. You know that is a great bone because I've been in these meetings when I used to. Oh God, I can't. I want to bring it up because I don't want to get in trouble. No, no, no. But I used to have to go to these meetings. Corporate America. Let me tell you something about corporate America. I anytime I I get a little frustrated with the business. But I I think of the time that I was involved with corporate America for a minute. Wait, what? You were in corporate America? I. What'd I, you do? I had a business and I had to go to these meetings. And they had the pie charts, the guy with the chart, and the, the guy with this, and the other person with the stats, and that guy. Everybody had their little time to speak, and we all had to sit and listen. And then you'd give your little, and then every the questions. And then I went, and there'd always be somebody at the end, well, I just want to say, and you're like, oh, we were right there. Yep, right there. We were right there. It's normally right. the person that's quiet the whole meeting, and then they're like, oh, shit, I didn't say anything. I got to talk. Right yes, there. You're right there. You're yeah. about to end. You're, you, you, you literally feel your body release. Yeah. Because I'm going to go get a snack. Yeah. I'm going to go pee-pees. It's I'm going to go watch a tea. And then all of a sudden, it's like, all right, guys, boom. And then, uh, uh, yo, and one more thing. Um, on that on that chart, oh, uh, you fuck. Yeah, yeah. We're getting the email. Yeah, that's job. That's job. That's fear. That's job security fear. That's what yeah, that is. Everybody loves their little. Everybody yeah. wants their little they, they, piece they, of that they want, meeting. They need their little soapbox. Yeah. I uh, guess what we got another one of. But you know what he could have did? Can I say something? Yeah. What I've did. Hey, is listen, I, and I, he probably can't because he's not the, but. Hey, uh, can we? Uh, maybe we can ask these questions at the end, or you can go to him directly. We're gonna wrap this up. We're supposed to be over. We're a little over time right now. Yeah. You can do the passive aggressive corporate way and be like, "Hey, not for nothing, guys. We're a little over." Is there any? But he might not be. He might. He might yeah. get fucking shit for that. And it might yeah. have been a higher up. But I was kind of an owner of the thing, so I could say. Yeah, shit. you could. Say so that. I used to go, "Hey, yeah, you, you can do that after." Oh yeah. Oh no no no. And they always go, "Oh yeah yeah no, I'll, I'll go. I'll yep." <laughs> All right, we got one more video bone. This is from our boner buddy, AJ. Here AJ. Fellas, I just had a bone happen to me at the bank, and I want, want your opinion on it. Is it a righteous bone? Am I, am I out of my mind or something? I pull up to the bank with a bucket of change. It's all rolled. I've been rolling it for a year, maybe. So it's a full bucket. And I show the tellers, I like to deposit this into my bank account. She looks up at me and says, are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> we are in a fucking bank, bitch. What are you talking about? Are you shitting me? Yes. I would like you to deposit the fucking U.S. currency into my U.S. fucking bank account. <laughs> and as she's fucking counting it with her attitude, she looks up at me and she goes, you know, you should really try to do this during fucking lobby hours. So there's six banks around me. Five of them close at fucking three o'clock. I, I get out of work at four o'clock. What do you want me to fucking do? 90% of fucking America gets out of work at five o'clock. First of all, I'm getting out of work early. Like what? <laughs> Thanks for letting me rent, fellas. Oh, I love this kid. Dude. This first of all, I'm going to say this. Immediately to a manager, she should be fired. 
listen, fired. This is the problem. You don't get this. Everything. Oh, boy. Everything. You know, look, at man, I remember when radio, before podcasting, before all this bullshit, you had to go on FM radio to promote your show. You couldn't swear. You couldn't do this. You had to find another way around it. Yeah. Now everybody just shit, fuck, fuck you, suck yeah. my dick. You fucking shit. She should be fired. She doesn't want to work. go up. Excuse me. Can I see your man? And go over to the manager. She yep. just swore at me. Yep. Because if, if, if you swear at her, you're out. All these people, these people that they work at banks and, and on, on on the phone, they just they just want to push your buttons to you. Go, hey, fucking, oh, sir, you can't, and they hang right up on you. And they tell you you're out. She shouldn't have swore at you. As soon as she swore at you, I would have said, manager, bing. I would have been that guy, bing, manager. She just swore at me because I want to. It's a what? Because it's not hundreds, you lazy Wait, bitch. And he gave her rolls. I mean, yeah, they were rolled. Can I just say something? I mean, the fact that he showed up with a bucket full of fucking change is nuts. <laughs> they do have a machine. You can hunk that shit in. No, no, I, it was rolled. He rolls his own, and he brought no, in fully rolled corn. I understand, but they do have a machine that you can oh, go to okay. in every town. You can throw your change in. Me and Don have a Right, thing. but what he's doing is essentially, it's not even, it's like as easy as bills. It's just rolls. All she does is go, okay, here's you, the no. pennies, here's the dimes, yeah, here's the nickels. You, okay, but you got to check them, dude. You can't fucking trust some. What if you open up, a, it's a bunch of washers. I, I I mean, come on, dude. I'm just saying. Yeah. You, you, all right. I like this guy a lot. He shows up. You trust in that face? <laughs> Look at me, Paul. But he's been good. Look but, at his face. No, but listen. Stop. One second. Look at him. He shows up at your bank. It's your bank. You own it. Hey, I got a bucket of quarters. Well, and, he didn't you talk got, like I, that. All right. But <laughs> he looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. he said he's been doing it for years. Okay. Right? I trust that probably more than anybody. If Look, a guy you looks just like him. If a no, guy that's a a <laughs> no, no, here. That's an American dude, man. I like that dude. If a guy showed up in a suit and tie with quarters, that's the guy I don't trust. What What is going on in that bucket? But this guy, he's meticulous. <laughs> yeah, that, that's fucking woke, Mike. <laughs> that's that's Wall Street, Mike. That's anti-corporate, Mike. That's guy, a guy in a suit. If he's white, ugh. That's no. Blue collar. <laughs> a guy in a suit with a bucket of change? No, no. That's and it, weird. I love, Listen, I love when this kid you said got my it. U.S. currency. That's the best. He's 100% right. 100% here's, right. Here's the thing. 100% right. This this kid, I'm telling you right now, it's American currency. That's the law. You take it. Shut your face. You go you go and talk behind his back to your other friends at lunch. Oh, here comes fucking. Here comes Nichols. Here comes Ni <laughs> Here comes Nichols McGee. And hey, you talk yeah, yeah. shit. This that because it's a pain in the ass. Look it, it's a pain in the ass. I get it. Guy shows up with a bucket. He's been rolling for a year, right? Yeah, yeah. When you can. You don't need to do that anymore. They have machines. You just huck it in. Da, 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 and it's yeah, but this kid's getting out of work at 4 o'clock. The you, bank me, is let open. Let me finish this. All right, go ahead. There's a fucking machine, Paul. He can take his bucket, and I do it. You go, and you pour it in. Brrr, I know. And it's in called seconds, penny it goes bang, and then you go up to the thing, and they go, Foomp, and they give you the money. I know. This maniac's <laughs> fucking, huh? fucking, fucking, fucking. Fucking America. I mean, I get it. God bless him. I love the kid. But you don't need to do it. You know what I'm saying? And then a year later, he's coming in. Hey, I got my book. Right, and he's going right. to kook. And the fucking I the think window shakes. I'm and giving, this poor fucking. I this, got it. This fat Puerto Rican lady is going to go, God, <laughs> motherfucker. This, What's shit, doing? this shit, motherfucker. Redneck. Come in here. <laughs> I think I give this kid a little more credit. I don't think they got that change machine near him. Uh, okay, that's fine. I mean, that's insulting, too. But I'm just saying, there is a, I understand her thing, but well, he can't curse. 100% right. Yeah, yeah. If, we're in a, if I'm the judge, fuck, you're fired. You're right, sir. Yeah. American currency, that's what you want to do. You want to keep your you change. You want to roll it. You want to old school it. Yeah. You want to grandma this shit. You want to you 1972 these quarters and nickels and dimes. Yeah. Yeah, Fine. I yeah. I mean, and look, I, they don't, might not even have the machine. I don't know where he lives. Stop with the no, don't have a machine. It's America. <laughs> Stop with they don't have the machine. One time, I went to get a salad, and the lady goes, "I go, can I get a, a salad with chopped grilled uh, chicken and all this stuff?" And she just goes, right when I walked in, she goes, "Honey, I'm exhausted. Fired." She got fired. No, she should have been. 
Well, I mean, unless she was an old black lady with corns on her feet. No, she, you can't she do working. that. You don't walk into a place and go, hey, man, can I get a uh, tuna on rye, lettuce, tomato, yeah. mayo, yeah. and salt and pepper? And they go, suck it up. <sighs> Tired. Unless, what? unless, unless, unless you own the place. Unless that Who, store, what hang are you on. being tired have to do Order with it? Mentor. Unless you, unless that store, that the place you went to was Mama Johnson's, and that was her store. And that was Mama Johnson's. Yeah, go fuck yourself. All right, you all get right. to do whatever you want. All right, there all right. Uh, there you go, everybody. That is our episode. Two uh, good video. I mean, uh, two good video bones. Good video bones. Uh, the 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 croc. All of the. <laughs> can I just can we can you just back up a little bit? Can I just hear his rant at the end one more time? I just gotta hear his rant at the end. I just want to hear one more rant because he went off. Fucking American man. I heard an accent. I know no, he didn't no have one. I they really try to do this during fucking lobby hours. Well, there's six banks around me. Five of them close at fucking three o'clock. He might just be higher. I, I get out of work at four o'clock. What do you want me to fucking do? 90% of fucking America gets out of work at five o'clock. First of all, I'm getting out of work early. Like, what? <laughs> Hang on. Thank you, let me rent for a little No, bit. no, please go back to the American. I got to yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dude, because he's he's using the phone. I mean, the phone's shaking violently. It's a full bucket. Here we go. And I show the tellers, I like to deposit this into my bank account. She looks up at me and she says, are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> we are in a fucking bank, bitch. What are you talking about? Are you shitting me? Yes, I would like you to deposit the fucking U.S. currency into my U.S. fucking bank account. <laughs> Uh, dude, that's dude, it's great. I mean, dude, it's it is. I mean, one of my favorite video bones. We gotta mark that down. That's as one the, of the, the U.S. Video currency bones. in the bank. Yeah, in it's the just the U.S. My, bank. I love it. God damn it. Maybe we uh, should send AJ a hat. Can we send him a hat? Yeah, yeah. Let's send him a hat for one of our favorite. Where bones. is he? Yeah, we'll find. We out. should do that at the end of the month. Because what yeah. if somebody comes in next week? And oh, there's there's a video bone of the month. Gets a video hat. Video bone of the month. Gets a hat. There you go. There you go. Okay. All right. Yeah. And I that's like the it. last one of the month. So. So mark that down. Thank you guys so much for uh, listening to the show. This has been another uh, great episode. Please submit your um, bones to uh, bone to pick cast at gmail dot <laughs> I love when you don't remember the way you no, uh, read. I, no, I, I remember am it. Remembering as we go no, along. Don't, don't make don't make your mess up of last week's Patreon thing. My Patreon.com slash bone to pick. There you go. Make sure you join the Patreon as I remember what I'm saying. Uh, oh, okay, go ahead. I was just gonna plug. Go ahead. Well, listen, make sure you go to robertkellylive.com for my dates. I want to thank everybody who came out to Chicago and, and Wisconsin and uh, all four shows at the um, Comedy Connection in Rhode Island sold out. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. And uh, I'm going to be all over the place. Comics, uh, Roadhouse, I'm going to Boston again. I just got the mothership again. So go to robertkellylive.com and go to punchup.live. Punchup.live. We got to get on there too. Punchup.live and uh, watch my special for free. And I put all my uncensored content up there. No beeps, no nothing. It's up there. Go check it out. No censorship. And uh, all, uh, and it's, you see all my stuff up there for free. Yeah. And I want to thank everybody that did come out to uh, comics at Mohegan Sun. Uh, it was amazing. And there were people in the crowd going, Paul, how come you don't have the bone to pick hats? So they were saying that. So don't worry, guys. They were saying, where can we get the hats? You get the hats at Comic Wearables, right? ComicWearables.com and use the code word boner and you get 20% off. We put up a thing up there for Patreon people and boners. You got any of you guys, you fan of the show? 20% off. You're not paying full price. Yep. And come uh, other dates that I have coming up, guys, um, I'm going to be, well, this weekend, th this show will be out after that. But um, we actually uh, rescheduled Gramercy Theater for uh, June 8th. I hope those tickets are available, but that's where it'll be. It'll be Saturday night. Uh, and I will be at the Den Theater shooting my next special uh, in a little over a month at the Den Theater Chicago. Both shows are, are going. Tickets are going. They're almost both sold out, so get in there. And we got Naples, Florida coming up. We have some. We have a bunch of dates coming up, and you can get all those dates at paulverzi.com. And, and like uh, Bobby said, watch our specials. Uh, Nocturnal Admission streaming right now on uh, Netflix. People are still reaching out with comments about that so thank you uh so much mike in my own head.com and also if you go to our instagram the link uh the top link is a link to the hats as well so you just go to instagram at bone to pick cast and we gotta can we announce it are we in right um that's, that's a mean, it's, it's 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 pretty much in 
So let's well, let's tease let's, that for the next let's episode. Announce it on the next we got an announcement. We got a nice, really. I tell you, we're we starting. This oh, we, podcast yeah. is popping off. Yes, we're starting to do stuff. We're starting to get things. So please, uh, we're going to make an announcement soon. Make an announcement soon, and uh, that's it. We'll see you next time on a Bone, a Bone to Pick, Pick podcast. podcast.